Today we're going to be taking a look at this M33 dash cam. This dash cam has been sent to me free of charge for this review. I have already installed the app that you're going to connect to and I've already checked out the quality of the playback of the dash cam and there's two things that I can tell you right off the bat. Thing number one is the app is extremely easy to use. It's very user friendly which is a really big plus, makes it super simple to use. And then the next thing is the quality that you get from this dash cam is better than any other dash cam that I have had the opportunity to review. The picture is crystal clear and we are going to be looking at that footage here shortly. But before we do that I do want to show you everything that comes with this dash cam and how you would install it. And then we're going to take a quick look at the app. So starting out this is what the dash cam looks like. Nice looking dash cam. This camera right here can be rotatable so you can get the best angle that you need. And then along with that they also provide a rear camera. Something that is really nice about this is with most dash cams you do have to hardwire the rear camera into your vehicle. But with this one all you have to do is simply plug it into your camera just like that. And then you're just going to stick it to the back window and this camera here is also very adjustable. I'm not going to be showing you that option today, but just so you know it's there and you don't have to have any extra equipment to hardwire it in. Like I said, just plug it in and it's good to go. So how are you going to install this camera onto your windshield? All you're going to do is you're going to peel it off and stick it on the windshield wherever you want your camera to be. Next, you're just going to peel off this adhesive film, stick it on, and you're good to go. They do also provide you with an extra adhesive. The power source to the camera is going to plug directly into your cigarette lighter. So you just plug it in and it's going to plug in right here. While we're looking at this site here, as you can see, we do also have a pre-installed 64 gigabyte micro SD card that they do provide for you, which is really nice. So you have all of that footage saved on that SD card that you can look back on later. With the power cable, you get a really, really long power cable. So once you plug it in, you're gonna have all of this extra cord. They do provide you with these cord clips so you can clip them onto wherever you're going to be placing the extra cord and they also give you this tool so you can push the cord up under your interior and down the side so all of this extra cord stays out of the way. So taking a look at the camera while it is powered on, as you can see here we have this nice little LED screen. So you can see some of the footage that it is recording. And then down at the bottom, you see the date and the time. We have a button on the side here that is going to be your function button. If we press it once, listen close. Start emergency recording. You heard there it said start emergency recording and that is going to be in your locked album, which we will look at here shortly. If we press that function button for about three seconds, going to pull up the Wi-Fi information and then if you hold the function button for five seconds it's going to restore the camera into its factory settings. So with all that being said we're going to go ahead and take a look at the app and the different features of that. So we're just going to set the camera up here so you can see on the phone. So the app that you're going to want to download is called GKU Go. Once you open it for the first time, you are going to have to add the camera. They do tell you how to do that. Super simple to do. Since I have already previously connected, all I have to do now is press connect. It's going to take me into the Wi-Fi settings. It's going to be best C 1A5 EE2. Press it. Then we can go back into the app and it should be ready to go. If we go to this gear button in the bottom right hand corner, this is going to pull up all of our settings so you can kind of customize the dash cam how you want it to work. So we have sound recording, speaker volume, video resolution, loop recording duration, which mine is on one minute. What that is going to do is every one minute it's going to restart the recording. So in the gallery, it's going to be a bunch of one minute snippets of your drive, or you can choose three minutes or up to five minutes. Next you have anti-flicker, video and code format, timestamp, which you can have off or on, flip, collision sensing, mine is on low. What that is going to do is if the camera senses any shock, so say you got in a wreck, someone hit you, and, that, and the camera senses it, it is going to lock that video and it's going to be in the locked album. And what that means is that video cannot be deleted and it can't be overwritten unless you do so. Next we have the speed unit, parking monitor, collision detection, and time lapse recording duration. I can't show you what that is because you do have to have a hardwire kit. 
Then next, you just have the Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password, and the version. Something very important that you want to make sure you do before you use the dash cam is to format your SD card so everything works as it should. So going back into the camera, there are a couple different things that you can do. As you see here in the middle, that is going to show you your miles per hour when you are driving. We have a record button, which is going to allow you to pause and resume the recording. We have a camera right here which is going to be a snapshot and then we have this card right here that is going to be what is on the SD card so we can click on that and that is going to be everything that the dash cam has recorded so like I said mine are in one minute loops then if we want to we can choose which ones we want to delete and we can also choose which ones we want to download if we download it that's going to put it in the camera album and it's also going to be on the album on your phone swipe we're going to go into the snapshots so that is the picture we just took and then swipe again and it's going to go in the locked videos which is going to be the collision detection and it's also going to be if you push the function button for one second it's going to do that emergency recording like I said that's going to be in the locked so that is how the app works. That's all the different settings that you can choose from. Very simple and easy to use. Like I said, there's not so many settings that it is confusing. It's very user friendly and makes this dash cam very enjoyable to use. So with all that being said, I do have a little snippet of a drive I went on not too long ago. And I do want to show you the quality because it is very good. It is very impressive. So here's that short clip of that drive. So as you've seen there in that snippet, the quality of the dash cam is very good. Other dash cams that I have reviewed, the quality is a little bit grainy, but this one is extremely clear, which is really nice. So that is the M33 dash cam. It is a dash cam that I would highly recommend. There's a lot of dash cams out there. Some work better than others. And this one right here is definitely one that I think should be on your list if you are considering getting a dash cam.